Thursday the 11th of May, we're in Weymouth. We've come a little ways down the road because we wanted to show you this, another train line in Weymouth. This train line was known as Weymouth Tramways. You can see how the rails themselves run right down the middle of the street and it went down to the quays and connected with boats originally going across the sea so it was known as the boat train. This line uh, hasn't seen any trains running on it for about 18 years but weirdly it's never been officially closed so this is still technically an open train line. Cool, do you want to go and get a train then? To the trains, death. quite an awkward section because we're going along the south coast, Weymouth, Bournemouth, Paul, Southampton, but you can't get one train that stops everywhere. When you look on the map, it looks as if you can just get one train from Weymouth all the way through to Southampton, but you can't, you have to change. The next station is Wool. Where are we? Uh -huh. We just left Hamworthy, travelling to Poole. We're in Poole. Behind me, you can see a Deborah Smithson post office. This is one of the things we have to do every day in all the stations. Just a bit of admin for you. We have to post the SD cards down to our editors. And what's really strange is that this reminds me of Lincoln on our test day with the level crossing. Because you're in the high street here, you're walking along, you're doing your shop, you've been to Costa, suddenly you want to go down here to the HSBC bank and suddenly the railway is in the way. The railway just like dissects the high street, that's so weird. And there is a little bridge up here, you can see there's a little footbridge, but wouldn't it be great if there was a major you know, lift, uh, you know, a step free lift and everything to help the, the residents of Poole get across their high street. So this is Poole Station. What is there to say about Paul Station? Paul Station um, is in the middle of lots of cars and, <laughs> and some flyovers. But the historical harbour, I think, um, is a little bit further away. Unfortunately, you don't have time to pop down to the harbour. Just an interesting thing on the next train indicator. They do a thing, they do this up at um, Watford with the overground trains. They say they're only going as far as Southampton rather than Euston. It's to stop people getting on the slow stopping service. So actually there's a train there that's advertised that's going to Farnborough. But actually it is going all the way to Waterloo, but they want you to get the express train, the fast train to Waterloo. So to be nice, to stop you getting the slow, takes longer train to Waterloo. They only advertise that it's going to Farnborough. When it says Farnborough, it really means London. But that's a good thing, it's a good thing. I know you're all concerned about keeping count on the number of teas I drink. I'm not, sorry, I'm not gonna count the number of teas. Tea count is not what all the stations are all about. At least two stations, yes, all the stations, less so. We just came through Bournemouth though. What a beautiful station. Someone on Twitter was like, Jeff, check out the Art Deco framework. You got the, the idea that it was once a, a, a much more major station. You had gaps in the middle where tracks obviously used to come from the middle. There's now just two tracks and the gap in the middle. But it was a beautiful, gorgeous station. This is Hoaxdown for Boscombe. I have to say, I'm from reflections from the first few days where we spent on GWR services and all the Cornish branch lines was wonderful and it feels a bit weird to be back in familiar territory as in it's not as exciting like I like you know going to new places and we're back in London yes I know we're down in but we're back on the London map we've just come down the little branch line to Lymington Pier which mainly I think people use to get ferry services to the Isle of Wight We have successfully navigated the Limington Town and Pier branch. Um, awkward station of the day today. I might put a tweet out in a second. If, if there's a badge for that and you won, then that badge is appearing on the screen now. It's Bewley Road, we'll be doing that soon. But we're here at Brockenhurst. I want to point out this over here. This is what I believe is called a luggage extender. Can you see this red contraption with wheels at the bottom? There's a footbridge here. If you had luggage or something really heavy, they could extend this out over the tracks 
and you could wheel your luggage or heavy equipment or it was across over the railway. It's definitely not in use now because amongst all the investment which Network Rail are putting into stations around the country, there are some nice new shiny lifts here, which is great for step-free access. I've never seen them before. Are there any more of these at other stations around the country? I'm sure you let us know in the comments. We've got one bar 3G. We're going to stand by the door. <laughs> the next station is Fiora. Oh, it's ju it's just decided to break. Initializing video stream. Come on, come on, Periscope. It's not going to do it, is it? Oh, we. I just want to see if anybody gets on or off. We really wanted to do. This train is for London Waterloo. The next station is Ashurst New Forest. I should get a photo at least to, to prove I was here. station uh, that and Redbridge station on the way into Southampton we went through really fast and there was a heart dropping moment where I thought we've missed our first station and then we got to Southampton and realized that our train back out we're getting which is the one we're on now to Salisbury actually stopped at those stations stations in the Southampton area trickier than you'd think Southampton station itself by the way very pretty a nice mural along the, uh, the length of the footbridge there when you change Hello. Hello. Yes, we went through the tunnel. We're just about to get off the train. We're at uh, Salisbury Station and I've just tried to run down into the town to catch a glimpse of the cathedral. That shot, I think, is the only one that I'm going to get. I think I probably should have turned down another right-hand road as I left the station. Um, I have to get back and catch this train. So I'm not going to hang around anymore. I head back to the station now. There are some pain stations, not all trains stop, there's, there's a skip pad. We have like a, back at Mission Control here at all the stations that I'm uh, chatting to, and we have our friend David here, and between the two of us we've realised we weren't going to do Hedge End and Botley. Please, I please come through. Sure. This lady is like interrupting a crucial documentary. How's your day? How's, your, how's the railway? It's good. I love trains. <gasps> we talked about how much you love trains. Hi, what's your name? My name is Meg. Hello Meg. We're, we've got to get the train in four minutes. Are you got the 1700? No, I'm getting the... Something 07? Okay, all right. We're making a documentary about what it's like we're travelling to every single station in Great Britain. Really? Are you on Facebook? I am. You need to type in the phrase all the stations, all the stations. and you'll find us. But you just said you love trains. I do. Why do you love trains? Because <laughs> it's, it's just so simple. It's just from A to B, doesn't it? Now, clearly you look young enough to have a young person's rail cards. Do you have a young person's rail cards? I do not. <gasps> you know what a young person's rail card is? You race between 16 and 25, you can put a young person's rail card, and they give you a third of <laughs> I'm going to grab a leaflet. Have you so your ticket today was how much, for example? Uh, I paid four for five. So you could get that down to probably like, like £2.80 or something. I need this. <laughs> I need this. Can so we I'm get a high five for that? Yeah. Okay, right. <laughs> so. We're in the quiet zone. You're going to have to whisper. I failed in Salisbury, but Winchester I'm trying again to see if I can get to Cathedral in time before we have to catch our train. We've got 20 minutes.
<laughs> that's a, sort of the back of the cathedral, but okay, I think I might have one minute to go around the front and then I really have to maybe, maybe even run. I did not think this through. Okay, that's it, I'm heading back. This is Dave. That's David. His camera's bigger than us. Vicky, if you hold that pose, I think we've just found, sorry, this pose, I think we've just found our closing shot for the day. What, what are you gawping at, Vicky? A wooden train. You can fade that out, Will. I just wanted to go, shut up, man. <laughs> That's a family guy joke. <laughs> <laughs> 